had a student the other day ask me if there was another way to define a variable, define a function, rather than the way that um, I like best. So I'm going to tell you about four ways to define or store a function. Number one, uh, I recommend graphically. Number two, uh, there's this thing called colon equals, which is a really nice tip. The third way is just use define and then whatever it's going to be, and then you'll use an equal sign. And then the fourth way is the uh, old school T8384 method, which uh, the control variable, the little store, using the arrow. And we'll also talk about how to delete a function or variable. And then along the way, I'll show you some derivative tips. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to add a page. I use control I that time to add a page. Maybe next time I'll do control and doc for, for add a page. And here comes a graph page. So it already says F1. Now take a look at this. If you didn't want to use F1, you could make it whatever variable we want. For example, F. If you want to know what F of X is or, or G of X, let's do G of X because it's different than F. So let's say G of X is equal to X sine and hmm X. Notice something funny here. If I just press enter, disappointingly, nothing is graphed. I'll press tab and, and up arrow to see my g of x is still there. Um, hmm. Because I'm at, say, x times sine of x. We can have more variables that are longer than just one letter. We can have four. If we wanted to define the function um, x in, then we could. But uh, this now it says x times the sine of x. Ta -da! And it is graphed quite nice. Um, I'm going to add another page. Control doc to add a page. I'm going to add a calculator page. Since I'm using the TI Inspire CX CAS, I can say what is g of x? And it will tell me what g of x is. On the numeric Inspire, um, it, it would not be able to, to tell you that. It would say, hey, I don't know what x is. Could you tell me what x is? Then I'll tell you what it is. Um, but on either one, you could say, what is g of 2? And on either, <laughs> on the numeric Inspire, if I said g of 2, it would have given me the decimal number rather than the exact. Uh, similarly, we could say g of x such that a nice little control equals arrow back vertical bar such that x equals equals 2. Hey, by the way, if you ever have a decimal in there, you will get a decimal answer. All right, so that was my uh, first favorite way to define something is uh, graphically. Uh, the second way is, and, and so by the way, we did graph control M for a math box G of X, boom, and that's telling us what it's equal to. All right, and uh, so let's do this next. Let's go, how about F of X? Let's do a math box, control M. F of X can be defined. Did you ever notice that right above the math template, in other words, control math template, you get the colon equals? Yes, colon can be found in the punctuation. There's a colon. And, uh, and then equals is, is right over here underneath control. Okay. So there's our f of x, and let's say that this is the derivative. The first times the derivative of the second cosine. I could press trig twice, and I could get there. Cosine of x plus the second times the derivative of first sine of x. So now it is defined. The, uh, the next way is to use define. Um, do you mind if I go back over to the calculator page? I think I'll press control up arrow and show you the page layout. I've got three pages in this problem. I'm going to hop back over here and I wanted to show you the menu options. Under menu, the first choice is actions. Actions and it says that we could define something. So let's define, oh notice there's clear A to Z. We could clear out any variables that are between A to Z or functions. Um, there's delete a single variable. Okay, so here's define. So let's define, we did we did f, we did g, let's do h. Let's define h of x to be equal to, <laughs> how about the derivative? How about, I'll use shift, minus, and this will work um, either on this, uh, the, the cast or on the numeric inspire. Tab, and uh, let's do, uh, um, of g of x. Let's take the derivative of g of x. It is now defined. And so that was um, that next method. 
and this can also be done on a calculator page on the calculator page the menu will look a little bit different menu you want to go to calculations and then you get all your familiar friends of algebra calculus um, etc it's under define variables doesn't that make sense and there's define and look at that we could also delete a variable from the notes page so there's define and like I said you need to, to say whatever your letter is um, let's see we used H um, so Mm -hmm. We could do other letters too. If you wanted to use um, J of X is is equal to. Uh, watch this tip. Um, shift minus sign X. How about if I use the uh, up arrow? Or try again. <laughs> what if I use the caret? Yes, the caret, as in raised to the power of. I'm in the derivative. What's that going to do if I raise to the power of? How about I did the second derivative? The second derivative of G of X. There you go. All right. And you can use one other method, um, this little storing thing. It's backwards. Um, don't like this one as much because it, it's backwards. What if I um, wanted to redefine f of x instead of being that? Hmm, or maybe I'll, I'll redefine um, h of x. Uh, last time I just called it the derivative. Hmm, maybe I'll call it the derivative again. Uh, so I will say um, the derivative do, 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 derivative tab of uh, g of x g of x and then I'll use my little control variable and store that as um, h of x and now it's going to be well I'd already defined it as that but there it is defined again done all right let's see some of the beauty of what just happened if we go to a graph page we can easily um, put in different things like um, um, how about h of x arrow down nice how about j of x that's nice what about um, uh, did I do f of x wonder if f of x was something interesting oh it's the same as something else it could be nice to graph a couple of the same things to show hey those two are the same and then we can notice helpful things for calculus like here at the maximum or minimum it's zero and then ah uh -huh, this must be the derivative and and then right here it looks like um, it's changing concavity from being um, concave um, da up to concave down and so that's where the second derivative would be equal to zero so those are some some nice things that you can do with derivatives and defining things